New York City, baby! My name is Mike, I'm in my 40s. Some of you might be younger, so I'll tell you what it's like to be in your 40s. Whether I lift weights or get drunk, my body feels about the same. The next day, I'm just achy and sore, questioning all of my life choices. My father gave me some very bad advice growing up, and it's gonna sound like good advice when I say it, but now that I'm in my 40s, I know it's bad. This was the advice. He said, Michael, always give 100%. He said, you can't go wrong if you always give 100%. That, my friends, is false. If you give 100% at all times, you will end up in a mental institution. But you have to try sometimes. So what I do now is when I walk into a situation, I check my cell phone. Whatever percentage my battery is at, that's how much effort I give. Tonight, they were like, Mike, this crowd deserves 100%. I said 37% is what they're gonna get, unless somebody has a charger. I'm not married. There's a lot of lies floating around out there about marriage. One is that marriage is 50-50. I find that to be not true at all. The marriages that last are never 50-50. The marriages that last are a combination of two types of people. One person who is boring <laughs> with another person who is crazy. <laughs> boring and crazy is the only combination that seems to work. I've done the math on this. Two borings don't work, they'll cheat on each other. Not enough excitement. Two crazies don't work, because that's the show Cops. <laughs> Have you ever seen the show Cops? <clears throat> I've been through a lot of breakups, and uh, when I break up with a woman, never pleasant, I like to do it at a restaurant. Because I feel like it's a public place, and she will not cause a scene. But can I share a secret with you guys? The women of today will yell at you right in a restaurant. So you know what I do? I take her to a Chinese restaurant. That way, if she yells at me, it just seems like she's working at the restaurant. I'm trying to stay in shape. I uh, started doing hot yoga last spring, and one of the benefits of doing hot yoga in New York is that you get to carry a small mat around the city with you. And I like that, because my friends are dumb. They're like, are you doing yoga? I'm like, this? No. I like to engage people in tiny wrestling matches all over town. That's how I work out now. I start a confrontation, I roll out the mat. I wave on the challenge. I'm like, bring it, dog. Let's solve it in this two by one by two by one inch space that I carry around with me for aggressive reasons. I complain about hot yoga being too hot. I'm one of those guys. My friends are like, Mike, why don't you just go to regular yoga? I'm like, no, I like hot yoga. I like hot yoga because you're sweating so much, no one can tell that you're crying. <laughs> like, Mike, are you chanting? I'm like, I am weeping. <laughs> I told the instructor it was too hot. It's supposed to be 90 minutes, 105 degrees, but it feels like 140. And that's what I said. She said, the seasons are changing. We kind of have to adjust to the seasons. I'm like, do you know how buildings work? <laughs> you control the weather on the inside of a building. That's why it's different from the outside of a building. Otherwise, we would not need buildings. We would just do everything outside. She's like, but don't you feel better after it's over? I'm like, I feel better the way that someone feels better after they've survived a car accident. I feel better that I'm alive, but I don't feel better than if I never would have come here. She's like, but you're losing weight. Aren't you happy that you're losing weight? I'm like, am I losing weight? I don't feel like I'm losing weight. I feel like I'm evaporating. I feel like that's happening. I feel like there's a cloud outside that looks exactly like me. <laughs> Fat, white, and sad. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much.
Vecchione.com. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.